Hello, Aquarius. This is the beginning of the new moon in Virgo read. So we'll start out with you guys. So let's get business out of the way ahead of time. If you're interested in donating to the channel or booking a personal read, the information is down in the description box down below. Also in the description box is the link to my Patreon page where you get exclusive content um, and access to all the extendeds. And it's one tier, $5 a month for the tier. Um, what else? I believe that's it. So, let's get started. Before we get started, let's pray. Great Creator, Father God, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. I just pray and ask for wisdom and clarity and for any messages that you come through for the collective sign of Aquarius for this, their new moon in Burgery. In Jesus' name, amen. I am protected. I have protection. Nothing is allowed in my space that has ill intent. In Jesus' name, amen. Alright, start out with the Moonology deck. I have a couple of new decks I'll be incorporating. So, Aquarius. Meditate and contemplate. New Moon in Pisces. And believe in the impossible, Blue Moon. So, this is the second time I've done your read. Because I feel like... I felt like the first read... I don't know. So... Meditate and contemplate and believe in the impossible. Now, I feel like there's something that you're reaching for. And it may seem out of reach to you. But at the same time. Yeah. And I see it visually. It's higher on the mountain. In order to get there, you have to believe that you can climb that high. Instead of going around the base of the mountain, around in circles, waiting for it to drop down, you're going to have to elevate higher to get there. Because it's not going to drop down to you. They're not. And if this is a person, it could be, is a relationship, relationship. It's a combination of relationship, work. And spiritual work. That's this is this is turning out like the other read. Because I felt like it was off. That's the reason I wanted to do this again. And I wanted to incorporate two other decks too. Um, nothing is going to lower itself to you. You're going to have to climb. This is a period of climbing. But you're going to be able to get there. And it's funny too, new moon in Pisces, water sign. Ugh, it doesn't mean you're dealing with water sign. I was going with the emotions part of it. There's an emotional level here that you're going to have to face in your own growth. So this is just like, that's, so I was picking up the right energy then. All right. So let's go to the Sacred Traveler Oracle card deck. Staying focused. Hold the course. You saw me shuffle. I was picking up the right energy then. I was. This was the first card that came out on the first attempt of this read. Staying focused. Hold the course. Straight ahead. Reaching your destination. Your light is shining brightly. We'll go over all three of these because... Yeah, that one's different from the last. And protected by angels, you are cherished by the angels. Look. Stay in focused and reach your destination. See the direction that the figure is heading? And that's the destination. Um, your light is shining brightly. Protected by angels, you are cherished by the angels. Still picking up that energy, though, of the last read. It's 
it's like there's something here where it, it spiritual okay there's spiritual walk work in a relationship and all three of them are on the same path happens with all of us so it's not just a specific energy I'm picking up anyway the three though the energy of the person I'm picking up though is like two of them's okay or all three may be okay but there's a level of like money or doing something that they feel is it's like not what they're allowed to do like they're feeling like it's going against like they don't have permission to do it it's it's a strange feeling sun and moon tarot sun and moon tin this is a new deck I got today and I've been eyeballing it for a minute so let's go to the tarot Eight of Wands, Lovers, Hangman, that is what has this energy stuck, I knew it, Emperor, and Ace of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Prince of Cups, which is Page of Cups, and Two of Pentacles changed. That's the thing. There's two different things here that I was picking up in the last read. I'm glad I redid this. Um, one is this desire of a connection with another person. And financial on top of it. See, this is the thing. Okay, I'm, I'm going to say this. Maybe that's what I should have said the last read. That's the reason I felt to redo this. When you are on a spiritual path and your work um, your physical work reflects the spiritual path that you're on or is some kind it, it's related to it in one way or another. <laughs> It's almost like, um, yeah, I'll just put it that way. In Bible college, what was the rule of thumb? It was like, if God calls you to a ministry, he's going to foot the bill. That's one. The second part, though, is being so spiritually minded, you're no earthly good. read the story of Martin Luther I believe it's Martin Luther if I'm right he was a priest or monk I believe it was a monk but it was was it Martin Luther I'm trying to figure out like I'm trying to remember but the story goes that he would whenever he couldn't obey every single dictation or every single law set down before him the monks the priests they would punish themselves and I believe he would go through the streets on his knees beating his back with a whip this is how this feels like I feel a certain way but I'm punishing myself for it I feel like I'm being led here, but I'm punishing myself for it. It's keeping me stuck, so I can't move forward. Now, reaching your destination and being protected means, that's what these three mean, is that you are accepted and that what you're asking for of your heart's desire is going to come to pass. Financial gain as well, just because you're on a spiritual path doesn't mean that you are are to live in poverty unless you've taken a vow of poverty there's a difference here now there's also a difference between being a rolling in the dough we'll just put it that way 
um, taking advantage of people, having millions and millions of dollars, and just, you know, that that's different. The rule of thumb, too, is any spiritual person that's telling you that you, if you're going down a spiritual path, and you work, your work is connected to the spiritual path, but there's no money in it, or you're not allowed to have money, there's no gain for you, there's no financial blessings coming for you, and they're telling you this while they have multiple cars, brand new clothes, a couple houses, and maybe not listen to them. Like, that's a rule of thumb here. Because there's, there's a level here of am I doing the right thing? That's, it's a question. Because there's two different things that you're wanting, but you're feeling guilty about wanting it. Because it's like you have a mission to do, yeah, ministry to do. And each of us have our own ministry. Each of us do. Even if we don't know it's a ministry, we still have a ministry to do. And some of us don't call it a ministry. We just do it. So, I mean, anyway. But there's a level here of I'm not allowed to have and I'm not allowed to have. Like, there's two different things where it's like I'm not allowed to have that because. No. So, there's a... Let me explain. Like, this... That's the reason, like, the last, that's the reason I redid this whole read, because the energy was like, am I doing the right thing? This is also, too, could be, too, of, am I allowed to move on? See what I mean? So, when we, when we pick up one energy... Or we, because when tarot card readers, when we do these reads, we'll pick up multiple energies. At the same time, if we narrow in on one individual energy, we'll pick up on that energy, but we'll pick up on all the energies around that. So there's a question here of what do I do? Like, am I doing the right thing? And protected by the angels, you are cherished by the angels. That's, it, it's almost like, is God going to get mad at me for going in, in this direction? That's the thing. Because there is a lie here. Two lies that have been fed to this energy. And they need to be faced. Head on faced. Eight of Wands, Swiftness. Now, I like the description on this card. See Swiftness at the top. This is messages back and forth. Lovers, Gemini energy, it's about choice. This is about soul connection. This is about love connection. Um, messages back and forth between this person. Now, it's got you stuck. So, there's the stuck energy here. Hangman with the Emperor. And now the reason that's the stuck energy is, am I allowed to feel this way? Am I supposed to do this? Is this what's supposed to happen? It's like, did I do the right thing? Like, there's a question back and forth. If this conversation has you stuck, or if this connection has you stuck because you're thinking that, is this wrong? But I want to stay connected to them. Am I doing the right thing? You have to look at... This is the thing. You have to look at specific details here. Why you feel like this is wrong for you. Or wrong for your path. Because if your heart is leading you in that direction. And the hangman. The stuck energy with the emperor. Emperor's Aries energy. And the emperor is having complete control of your life. Now you feel like you're out of control. Like there's a level here of what the hell do I do? Because the card that didn't show up, that showed up the first read, 
from the Sacred Traveler Oracle card deck was surrendering to the journey. So even there, even though there's a feeling here of being stuck, you're not giving, like you're not coming across that that's the feeling. I'm in complete control. Whatever I say goes. That's the energy. But there's two different things here that you're fighting with internally. Now, a door is open for you. New door. Ace of Pentacles. That's new opportunity. Which will lead to more. Now, it's interesting that they have Four of Cups here. And the description of Four of Cups is luxury. Four of Cups is like a discontentment. And wanting to change that to get to this um, energy of being content and comfortable. Or of luxury. Of being able to um, relax for a second. This new door, and I like this. Ace of Pentacles. Four of Cups. Then you got Eight of Pentacles, Prudence. Which is learning something new about yourself. This is... Um, Putting the nose to the grindstone, so to speak. Grindstone, grindstone, um, so to speak. But it's eight is the number of new beginning. Nine of pentacles is gain. That's the description of the card. But nine of pentacles is reaping the harvest. So a door is opening here for that to happen of work that is going to be productive and there's financial gain but is plus a spiritual gain here this though is still a question the financial gain too is a question it's like you're feeling guilty like whatever energy this is it's feeling guilty from both these energies it's one of those things of spiritually you're growing and trying to manifest and growing even more and ascending because you're trying to reach these elements that um, of your heart's desire that you're trying to reach. The moment you reach them, then there's a guilt about having them. And you have Prince of Cups, which is Page of Cups, last two cards, and Two of Pentacles change. See what I mean? The Two of Pentacles here. Well, we'll go with the Page of Cups first. It's taking a new creative approach to looking at this. Now, it's a spark of creativity. But at the same time, look. Two of Pentacles is juggling, being in two minds over something. This is, this is what my heart is pulling me toward. At the same time, I'm guilty for having it. Because maybe, yeah, there's, there's this, just an energy here of, like once you reach that, you reach your destination, but once you reach it, there's a level of, uh, I don't deserve it. Like, there's this level here, or I'm not supposed to have this. I'm not supposed to have this financial gain. I'm not supposed to have this um, another energy, this connection with this other person because I'm on a spiritual path. And it's all about everybody else. And I'm supposed to sacrifice this, but at the same time, you're manifesting these two things. And then when it shows up, you're going to have to change your mindset. This is something to release. You're going to have to release this. And that's the thing. Is that that's the change that's coming in. And all of it's going to happen quickly. It's a new beginning. There's two eights here. But it's not something to beat yourself up about. Or to go around and round about... Um, Am I doing the right thing? Is this the way I'm supposed to do? Um, 
because I've heard, I'll just give you that. Like I keep picking up this energy of I'm not supposed to have money. I'm not supposed to be with anyone. It's like this, it's like a monk mentality type of thing. Yeah, like I'm not supposed to have that because they don't have it. Oh, is this, wait, wait. Okay. Oh, God. It's, it sounds like to, like, what is that? Survivor, survivor's guilt? That's the way it sounds. Survivor's guilt. Okay. When you are working with community... And you're going back in to be of service. You have to be mindful of the fact that it may trigger, especially if you're going back in to help others that have gone through something that you've already healed from and you've already taken the journey from. If you go back in to help them, you're going to have to be mindful that there's certain shadows that appear that you're going to have to face. This is what's going on. Let them speak. Hear them out. And acknowledge the emotions. Process the emotions and heal. Because this is what's... That's the energy I kept picking up. It's like survivor's guilt. It would be the equivalent... Okay, yesterday was the third year anniversary of my husband's death. Okay? Now, yesterday was hard. Yesterday was unbelievably hard. And I think it, it was... Yeah, the second year wasn't that bad. It was still bad. This year was hard, hard. Like, it was right up there with the moment that he died. That, like, that's how hard it was. And I have people close to me that kept me laughing. My two oldest boys kept me laughing. You know, and I have people in my life that really help me like push forward when I need it that's the thing though if ever in the future if I was going to date anyone else I would really have to face this it's the same type of shadow it is it's the same thing of moving on so, this is just one of those things of, like, why do I have this and other people don't? Or why do I have this and people I work with don't? Why am I able to, why was I able to carry on and maybe some of them didn't? Survivor's guilt. I mean, you face that when you lose people, when you work closely with them. This is what it's like. This is what this feels like. So in this new moon energy, new moon of Virgo energy, you're going to have to face this. There's a level of healing here. Like it's a moving on thing. But it's survivor's guilt. Like, and I went through that what first couple years of mourning my late husband of... And we'll just, I'll just be honest. One of those things of why am I here and why is it gone? Maybe the wrong person went. That type of thing. It's part of that shadow. You have to face it and heal it. And it took a long time to heal it. Now when I mourn, I just mourn the loss of him. And not the shadow. Because I let it speak and talk to me. And this is what you're going to have to do. So, I'm going to pull Oracle of the Radiant Sun. I'm going to pull a couple. It's a new deck, too. Detachment. Yeah. Romance, number two. That's 11 card. Um, <laughs> you got Lover's card here, and then you have Romance. I feel like that's like a guilt thing. And that's one of the two things. Like you're getting what you've been manifesting. But there's a guilt behind it. One more off the top. One off the bottom. Okay. 
criticism. Yeah. And it's self-directed criticism. Number six card. Because it's a connection with community and there's something around work with other people. This sounds like a survivor's kind of thing. You get what you've been asking for and you get your heart's desire and at the same time you're feeling like you should it's like a payment. Like you almost like you have to pay for it. I didn't earn it, so it's not mine type of energy here. And that's not true. So the last deck I'm going to for you guys is Wisdom of Buddha. The master of self. To conquer oneself is a greater task than conquering others. Harmony and Buddha nature. Happiness is not having a lot. Happiness is giving a lot. And one more. It's 26. There's another 8. It's third 8. And 32, which reduces down to 5, is number of change. Number of change. Change your mindset about this. And rising above. No matter how hard the past, you can always begin again. Do you see that? So, it's like a self-punishment here. Like you're wanting to make yourself pay in order to earn those things that you're getting. And it's true. Happiness is not having a lot. Happiness is giving a lot. At the same time, this isn't a reward for giving a lot. That's not what this is. The reaping, the harvest time, isn't the reward for it. It's because you need it. And sometimes that's what happens where it's a financial gain where you give to others because that's the reaping principle. Sowing and reaping, you're planting the right seeds and you're seeing it come to fruition and it's harvest time. So you don't don't bad mouth or look down on your harvest period that's not what it is because this isn't your focus but it doesn't mean that you deny it completely if that makes sense so for the collective sign of Aquarius I'm going to pull one more card for you just one more card and it's from I forget what deck this is from. One off the top, one off the bottom. Okay. Alright. Happiness. There's happiness again. 27 reduces down to 9. It's number of completion. Very purpose of our life is to seek happiness. Dalai Lama. Happiness can only be experienced when the mind is quiet and the heart is open to making pure connections with your own true self. Other people in the world around you. Meditate and contemplate. This kind of happiness is only attainable by your sincere values of serving, giving, sharing, and creating for mankind's higher evolution. One off the bottom. Attachment. Attachment to desire is the cause of suffering. Buddha. Attachment arises when we want something different from what we are experiencing right here, right now. This ever-increasing list of unfulfilled desires causes us to experience discontentment and disconnects us from living simply in the pure joy of the present moment. Now listen, that's a two card, it's connection, connecting to the divine, connecting to higher self, connecting to um, a higher vantage point, if you will. But twice you have about detachment, 
because you're too closely attached to this and you can't see what the fact that all of it is your path. So for the collective sign of Aquarius, this is your new moon in Virgo read. Hope it helps. Love and light.